watching okay so welcome back to my youtube channel and for today i'm going to be showing you how to make very stable whipped cream and before we proceed if you have not subscribed to my channel please do, do well to subscribe so that you can get notified whenever i post my new videos okay so today is just going to be a quick one we're going to be doing very stable whipped cream with just two ingredients okay guys so the two ingredients are our powdered whipped cream you can see i use the um, nutri blend i find out that their taste are like the taste is top notch yeah and the second ingredient we're going to be using is our very cold water guys this is so important you need to use a very cold water and i've seen where some people use very cold bowls instead of water but the bowl i'm using is not stainless so i don't think it can be able to retain the temperature so i'm going to just be using cold water for mine so today i am going to be using 200 grams of the whipped cream powder i'm using 200 grams of the whipped cream powder and 150 grams of cold water that is i've noticed that a very good tip in getting a stable whipped cream is not to put equal amount of both the whipped cream powder and the water i just short it by 50 gram whatever measurement i use i reduce the um, corresponding quantity of water by 50 grams for instance if i'm using one kg of whipped cream powder i'll be using i'll be using 950 grams of cold water okay let's get right into it so what i'm going to do is a very easy procedure and you can try this and give me feedback i'll be pouring my powder whip my whipped cream powder into the mixing bowl okay let's make sure we get everything sorry that i'm blocking the view once i'm done pouring you see it okay guys so this is it i'm done pouring the whipped cream powder then i'll pour in my cold water 150 grams guys remember 150 grams i short my water with just 50 grams compared to the powdered whipped cream now i'm supposed to be using a whisk but i don't know where i kept mine since i was in a hurry to make this so i'm just using my spoon to do this i'll stir until it's well dissolved before i start mixing okay guys a bit lumpy as you can see but I'll still keep on staring I just like to do this because I just feel like if I don't do this, my whipped cream will not be as smooth as I want it. So I'll just try as much as possible to, you know, get all the lumps out first as much as I can. Then leave my mixer to do the rest. Okay guys, so I'm done with that. The next thing we do is to use the mixer. I'm going to be using my... my hand mixer to do this now i'll just put the low heat first low heat first guys and after a while i move to maximum speed guys the size of the whipped cream or the amount has almost doubled okay so i will just keep on mixing if you feel like you need more you keep on mixing and mixing but don't over mix guys okay so it is stable enough for me but guys um 
some people you know i feel like a whipped cream has a natural taste of its own and um most times i don't like to alter that but for those of you that want to flavor your whipped cream according to whatever flavor you prefer um, at this point you can just add the flavor so this is optional so that is why it's not among the main ingredients okay so you might be saying you said two ingredients but you're adding three well guys this is optional most times I don't add it most times I do okay so I just added my industrial buttermilk flavor to it so I keep on mixing it. guys here we have it look at that stiff pig our stable whipped cream very easy just two ingredients and you're good to go okay if you like this video please do well to subscribe and also like the video so you get notified whenever i post something new enjoy your day